I think for, if I'm not mistaken, I feel like every single project that you've had a chance to do um, has now been labeled a cult classic. And I'm curious about um, your thoughts about that phrase, a cult classic. Oh, it's the worst thing you could ever say in Hollywood. In Hollywood, it means 12 smart people liked it and it lost money. <laughs> Never pitch when you're saying that you want to have a cult movie. And today, when people try to make a quote cult movie, it's always horrible because they're trying too hard to be dirty or nudity or vulgar, but it's no wit involved. So to me, a cult film, can, it has to happen uh, accidentally in a way. And sometimes, I mean, showgirls, no matter what he says, he didn't mean that to be funny. And it is funny. So that's how some of the films become a cult thing, because through no fault of their own, really. So uh, I, I never tried to make a cult movie. I always tried to make movies that would be commercially successful. So does, so does that phrasing bother you when it comes to... to no, people not at all. Not at all. No. I'm, a cult movie can also mean a movie that never goes away and continues to play, which I'm happy that that's true. Yeah, but I, I don't think just 10 smart people like Hairspray. I've, I've seen Hairspray with many kind of audiences all over the world, and those characters speak to all kinds of people today. It was a Trojan horse. It, was, it snuck in mid, the mid-world and, and all my ideas without people realizing what they were watching, and they embraced it, even racists like Hairspray. <laughs> 